I was being like a pastor behind the pulpit. I was one of, let me tell you the experience I had. I was want to be like the pastor. A pastor supposed to have a big car. So what happened one day, my pastor sold me a car and he sold me a lemon. Yes, he sold me a lemon, my friend. He go to God. And I went back to him and asked him for a refund. And he gave me half food stamps. And he gave me, go to God, half cash. My friend, that was the most disturbing thing that ever happened in my life. But when I found Christ, glory to God, it is the best exp I'm having the best day of my life, and I'm telling you the reason why I'm having the best day of my life, because number one I'm not governed by the church, I'm not governed by the government, because the government is governing the church church does not save you let me say it again my friend church does not save you church ought to go there you ought to go to church and in Encourage one another. It's more than one fella in the ship, but it looked like the ship is sinking. When Paul told the centurion, except he abide in the ship, you cannot be saved. Now I'm gonna tell you this now. A lot of people think the ship is the church, but a ship is Christ. If Christ is not in your life, if Christ is not the center of your life, you are sinking in the ship. Because you think the building is saving you. The building don't save you. It's Christ. He told Peter, upon this rock I will build my church. And the gates of hell shall not prevail it. I remember I was at this church. They used to laugh at me. I was a laughing stock for the pastor. I was a laughing stock for the members of this church. They will call me all kind of name, but a child of God. They will tell me, go back to Jamaica. Go back to your foreign country. Y'all foreigners come here and take all the jobs. But my friend, I would stand up, but I was having respect. I would stand up and say, listen, us foreigners come here, we want to work. But some of y'all foreigners, some of y'all Americans, y'all want to have hand out a food stamp and lying to the government about your status Hallelujah of your health, but you still you still go to God depending on welfare. Welfare is for those that need the welfare. Some of y'all are lazy and trifling. Hey, y'all are using and abusing the system. And you call yourself a Christian. How can you be a Christian and you're healthy? Go to God. And you're supposed to be working, but you waiting on a check every month. And you talking about us foreigners. So that's the problem I had. I was in this church for 15 years and the pastor bashed foreigners. Hey, glory to God. How can you bash foreigner and the Bible you are you're holding your hand is a Jewish book? Hey, glory to God. Jesus was Jewish. And guess what? Jesus Christ is not white. Jesus Christ is not a, not a black man, but he's a colored man because there's black presence in the Bible. Yes, black presence in the Bible, because Solomon say, I'm black and comely. I'm taking care of other people's vineyard. I ought to be taking care of my own vineyard. And guess what? The man that carried Jesus Christ's cross was a black man. He was a, he was a, hallelujah. He was so black, my friend. The Bible say that, that, that Jesus Christ, hallelujah, the man helped Jesus Christ carry the cross. And he was a Cyrenian. And Cyrenian, they are Jewish. So you trying to tell me that I'm I'm not in the book? I am in the book. Glory to God. Because Jesus Christ said, For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son. So I'm telling you, after I left church, I got more love for everybody, not just a peculiar people called church folks. Because church folks are more hateful people. I'm talking about people that go to church every Sunday, they are hateful. You're supposed to be having, the Bible say, listen what the Bible say. The Bible say, by this shall all men know that you are my disciple. How can you be a disciple having hate? How can you be a disciple being gossiping? How can you be a disciple you want to give people peace of your mind after church? You've been shouting, you're dancing, speaking tongue. But as soon as you get in the parking lot, you put the Holy Ghost on the shelf. After I left church. I'm telling you my experience after I left organized church, because a church is organized by the government. The government controls the church. 
Here am I telling you that the wages of sin is death. If you are homosexual, the wage of sin is death. If you are adulterer, the wage of sin is death. If you are transgender, the wages of sin is death. I'm telling you, the church is governed by the government. And it's sad you go to church and you're on your way to hell. Yes, you on you, you you go to church every Sunday and you're going to hell. Why are you going to hell, preacher? Because the church is governed by the government. Your pastor can't preach on sin. Your pastor can't preach on shacking. Your pastor can't preach on adultery. Your pastor can't preach on homosexuality. Your pastor can't preach on lesbian. Your pastor can't preach on transgender because the church is governed by the government. And I'm a man of God. I'm going to tell it like it is. And I'm telling you, ever since I left organized church, I'm happy. Hey, glory to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I'm more witnessing to people that I lost. The organized church don't witness. Yes, the organized church don't tell the truth. You tell the half truth. And the half truth is not truth. It's a lie. Paul said, am I your enemy? Because I'm telling you the truth. So I'm telling people, ever since I left church, I'm the most happiest guy. Haba Shapa. Ever since I left church, Haba, glory to God. I'm the most happiest. I'm most, I love my wife more. I love my children more. My friend, these churches, they organize to, to kill the family. And it's sad because the government is the devil. The government is satanic movement. The government is Luciferian. Why would you want to drive a jet and you ain't got no justice? How can you have a home? How can you have a house and don't have a home? How, how can you be uh, having all these clothes and don't concern about people that are naked? How can you be full and see like people that are hungry? But a Bible talk about at least you've done at least one of these. You have done it unto me. I'm saved. Why are you saved, preacher? Because I have the Holy Ghost, not just a shout, not just a speaking tongue. Because a Bible say, this is what the Bible say. The Bible say in 1 Corinthians, the 13th chapter, verse number 1. He say, though I speak with tongues of men and have not charity, I become a sounding brass and a timbling cymbal. My friend, love is not sex. Hear me out. Love is not sex. If you want to marry somebody for sex, that's not love. Because the Bible says, love, believe all things. Love, hallelujah, hallelujah, believe all things, hope all things, endure all things. Love will never fail. And it's a problem we have in our church. We don't have love. We have sex. The past is horny. Yes, the pastor is a pimp, and the pastor is prostituting the word of God. Hey, you, hey, you a pastor, and you are molesting little girls. Hey, you a pastor, and you say you got a sex problem, and the reason why you have a sex problem because the Bible say put on the whole armor of God, and the arm you forget, my friend. Pull your pants up, pastor. Your loin of truth, it protect your, your sexual organs. That's the problem we have in our church. The pastor is horny. The pastor is a lesbian. And the co-pastor is a, the, the pastor is a, is a homosexual. And the, and the co-pastor is a lesbian. Hey, glory to God, come on. This is the church. The church, my friend. The institution, the house of prayer. But you have made it a den of thieves. Ever since I left church, I found my priorities in, in place. I fall in the presence of God. I know my place in God. I am a leader to lead people to the promised land. And the promised land is heaven. I want to be your pastor. I want to be your prophet. I want to be the person that you can talk to to reach heaven and miss hell. That's a problem we have in our church. The pastor is not no pastor. He's a pimp. He's a prostitute. He's prostituting the world for his means. 
He drive the best car, live the best home, and take it all your money, and you still live with rats and roaches. The church. Ever since I left church, I love my wife. Yes, I say it again. Ever since I left church, I love my children. Because some of y'all, your children is outrageous because you so much in church. Your, your marriage is going down, going, going down the drain because you love church. But the church is the family. Oh, glory to God. Blood is not thicker than water. Hallelujah. It's God. But I was in this church and they always say blood is thicker than water. I'm, my family first. No, it's God first. But ever since I left church, I'm the, how oh, glory to God, I'm the most happiest, joyous man that walked the land. And I'm not being, I'm not being egoistic, my friend. I'm being humble. I'm telling you my experience of church. If you want to find God, you find God as an individual. You find God by cracking a Bible open and then you can call a real man of God. Because a church is about a show. The church is like a like a like a concert. The church is a, look at the church. You, you have you have people that, that dress like a clown and dancing. You have girls don't have no panties on, don't have no 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 bra, no, no bra on dancing. I come to hear the word of God. I didn't come for, to see you dance and show your panties. Hallelujah. Look at it. Clowns in the house. The church is like a circus. And it's time for us to find our place in God. You are lost and you go to church. How can you be lost on your way to church? The church ought to find you. You ought to find God in church. But ever since I left church, I find God. Because churches are full of witches. Your pastor is a witch. Your first, your first lady, she's a, she's a, she's a, a, a wizard. She's a, she's a weird person. Hallelujah. Church is not church anymore. It's, it's a circus. It's a concert. They playing world of music down the basement, having go goes on Fridays and Saturday. Glory to God, they having hallelujah, hallelujah. I don't know what they have on Saturday, but Sunday they're so holy. My friend, your life ought to be every day with Christ, not just on Sunday or Saturday. Your life ought to be every day is a sweeter than the day before. But church, ever since I left church. It's amazing. Hey, glory to God. Hallelujah. I'm having the best day of my life with Christ. And I'm saved. And I'm Holy Ghost filled and fire baptized. And I tell you, my friend, the wages of sin is death. But in the presence of the Lord, they're full of joy. At thy right hand, they are pleasure forevermore. Ever since I left church. Ah, glory to God. And I'm telling you, sisters and brothers. If you want to find God, you got to get on your knees. If you want to find God, you got to find your purpose. The Bible say in Romans 8, 28, all things work together for good to them that love God. They were called according to his purpose. Find your purpose in God. I found my purpose. I mean, leaving those two churches. Yes, I left those two churches and I find God. If I stayed in those two churches, I would be on my way to hell. But when I left those church, I found God. When I find God, I find my purpose. And my purpose is to, to serve people. I'm not glory to God keeping it to myself. That's why I do so many videos because I'm trying to reach the witches. I'm trying to reach the voodoo doctors. I'm trying to reach the homosexual, the lesbian, the transgender, the haters of God. I'm trying to reach the agnostic and the atheists. 
That's my purpose. Find your purpose in God. And I found mine. And I'm trying to help you to find yours. Hey, glory to God.